I have a question. Why is it that when a guy does cheat or does hook up with other girls, like if, you, if a guy is talking to a girl and he ends up like hooking up with someone else, why is it that his main chick will get mad at the side chick or the other girl, but not get mad at the guy? Okay, so I don't know who that is talking about, no, but... It's general. It's okay, in general. Well, I see that all the time. Like, why don't you get mad at both of them? This is dumb. So from personal experience, I got mad at both. Okay. But I think it's just kind of like... Um, more of like a love thing, right? So it's like the I think the way it is for a female maybe is that like you're like in a relationship with this guy and like you know yes like he did you wrong, right? Mm -hmm. But like you want to vic you want to blame somebody, right? You know like you need to blame put the blame on someone mm -hmm. and it's like yeah you can you can give your man's shit for it, right? Like just like in private or whatever, you know and like. That will always be a thing between y'all two. Mm -hmm. But you can be like loudly upset at the girl. Yeah. And I think that's that might be what it is. It's like you're you can you need to focus your like anger out loud. And the only like person you can think to do it is is to the girl. Mm -hmm. Um, because <laughs> for for the guy, you're like you know, like you, you, if you take them back, then yes. you're like, you know, you don't want to continue the anger. You okay. know, you don't want to prolong it for too, too long, right? Like, if you forgive them, you need to like end it at the forgiveness, right? And then, you know, move forward. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what it is. It's just that like they, they so badly need to blame somebody, right? And the, who is the, who is the person that to blame? Mm -hmm. It would be the girl. I mean, equally, yes, you're right. It should be the guy and the girl, but put like out loud vocalizing, like who you should be upset with. Like, I mean, you're going to, you're going to blame the girl, I guess. Interesting. Interesting. So it just comes down to basically women just need somebody to put the blame on. Yeah, I think, I think so. Like, not like needing to put the blame on them, but it's like, like you're thinking of your partner and it's like, if you guys are going to stay together after that situation, like, do you want to constantly like be like upset at him? Like, how is that moving forward? How is that forgiveness? Right. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like a big thing. It's like, how can you move forward if you're going to like maintain that anger? Yeah, but I think that's also like fake forgiveness too. So it's like, <clears throat> for instance, if like the cheating is like public and say whoever your friend group is, they find out about it, right? Naturally they're going to, like attack the woman first because or like the other woman just so like you know it's like a front or something like that it's like to it's like basically diverting that you're taking a dumbass back that cheated on you when because mm -hmm. at the end of the day like he knows what he has and then he thought mm -hmm. he was you could like find something else or like maybe double dip but i don't know i, I don't know if you guys agree with me but that, that just never made sense to me when women like start beefing with the other woman for like you know, cheating with their man. Mm -hmm. But then it could be a two-way street. Maybe she didn't know he was taken, or maybe she did, and she just didn't care. Yeah. But it's just wild that, like, the guy is, like, just free. <laughs> oh, I, That's I what see I'm saying. what you're saying. Because yeah. the woman who basically cheat, like, the guy, the, the woman that the guy cheated on, maybe she didn't know that he had a, a, a girlfriend already. Yeah, I mean, that could be a situation, right? So, it, I mean, depending on what the actual situation is i mean i'm i'm sure that that's happened mm -hmm. before i can't even think of one off the top of my head but you, you do know that like when a when a woman cheats and a man cheats is completely different right oh yeah for sure so, so you so that so you know that like it's it's do you agree that it is worse if a woman cheats on a man than if a man cheats on a woman? Not, not saying that it's any worse i'm just saying that like in terms of the like relational impact and like emotions involved with the, with the people involved it is more detrimental if the woman cheats than it is if the man cheats. I mean, if you if you want me to explain, I can explain. No, it no, to no. You. I think I I get it. Who do I think? Who? Which cheating do I? Would I consider to be worse if it was the guy or the girl cheating? Because the guy is what you're going into is the guys guys um like point of cheating is usually physical, right? Yes. It's just for the. But for females, it's usually like an emotional connection right so it's like what's worse that like your man could go and like you know hook up with like x amount of people and then like you you know you take them back or that like you're you the girl is cheating 
because she found a connection with someone else. Like, mm. yeah, I mean, if you think about it, the mm. connection with someone else is is definitely worse. That's why I feel like, correct, women should be, you know, not cheaters. I, at the end of the day, okay, listen. At the end of the day, I don't think I don't think anybody should should be cheating because, like I said, it doesn't make it, any of it any less worse. Yeah. But I just feel that when, like, exactly what you said, in order for a woman to even get to that point where they physically involve themselves with another man, they have to be physically, I mean, sorry, emotionally invested in that new man to even go about that. Right. So yeah. it's the fact that if your woman already is like feeling that for another man. That relationship is basically already right, over. It's already gone. Yep. Yeah. It's got if, yeah, if it's gone to that point, the relationship's already gone. Yeah. Whereas for a man, he could probably go out, have a hall pass, or like she and he'll come back and he'll and won't love his woman any less. Yeah, but you know, actually I was just thinking that like if the man goes to cheat, why are you laughing? If the man <laughs> goes to cheat, right? And like the girl finds out that he cheated. Then it goes back to the fact like it damages the female, right? Yes. If you think about it, because they're like, dude, like, why are you going out doing all this crazy mm -hmm. stuff that like I can't? So like, I think it's more damaging on the female if the guy is cheating. Like, so I think in that sense, maybe like the man cheating might be worse because like if the woman is cheating, she is trying to find that emotional connection that that's that clearly is not there, mm -hmm. you know, or it, that is suffering or lack of, right? So it's like if the girl goes and cheats, right, and then, like, comes back, like, the guy is going to be good because emotionally he probably was not in, in tune anyways. Yeah, so Kind of. I mean, because I think, like, if a woman cheated, right, in terms, like, of a guy and he loses, like, his girl to, like, somebody else, mm -hmm. it's going to be so, like, like uh, emotionally damaging to him. He's like, oh, man, she's going to find happiness with somebody else. Yeah. And then I'm just going to be out here doing whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Because, like, a, the threat of, of her being happy and moving on or, like, say, starting a family, that, that's going to, like, like wreck him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I see what, I see what you're wait, saying. Wait, you said, like, if a, guy, if a girl cheats <laughs> on a guy, yeah. the threat of, him, of her going off to someone else... I because na guys are naturally competitive. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if it's, it's so. It, you can say it's that, but it's also at the same time. It's like if you're in the animal kingdom, if a girl goes off with some other guy, you're just seen as the lesser man. That's true too. So that's, that's, it's, it's more yeah. so like most guys will take it as I'm a lesser man. Majority of guys would would take it like that. Like I was yeah, no, seen I as yeah, less. I agree, I agree with Mike too. Like if a girl was to cheat on you, and then like and then you would see that she moved on another guy and they start a family. It would it would absolutely wreck a guy because I think that I think men feel deeper than women, but women feel more than men. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like like as a woman, you feel women feel emotions more regularly because of hormones and they're just everybody knows they're naturally just more emotional. Yeah. Right? And as a man, we men, we don't feel emotions every single day we're more logical mm -hmm. so because women some feel emotions more yeah some of you yeah. okay yeah. but women as a whole because you guys are more emotional you guys are more a little bit more numb to it mm -hmm. so like feeling emotions you're like oh i know this feeling so it doesn't get as deep mm -hmm. but because men are less emotional and when we do get hit by emotions like they get hit by emotions right. yeah yeah no, I, I can see. Either way, cheating is not. Yes. Don't cheat. Yeah. Yes, yes. Don't at the, cheat. At the end of yes. the day, don't do yes. It. At the end of the day, yes, cheating is bad. But like I said, we were, that's, that was the only thing I trying to say that I think is is different because, like I said, a man should be doing everything that he can, and he be the, he should be there emotionally for a woman, so she never gets to the point mm -hmm. where she seeks that from another man. Yeah. If she's at that point, then that means that the man is coming short in the relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it also goes the other way around though too because if a man goes off and cheat, this is this is just my theory and gentlemen please chime in if you guys want to. I think that if a woman is doing everything that she can to satisfy a man, wh whatever it is that the man needs to be satisfied, he won't go off and also cheat. But there's also another reason like we as people were people in general are very communal, you know, mm -hmm. so you adopt the habits of the people around you. So if you are surrounding yourself with very not good people who are basically out there doing like DJ and stuff, you are more likely to do it because you are trying to be part of the pack. Mm -hmm. 
though. So it's also on the man's, um, I guess, you have to make the right judgment call to surround yourself with good people so you don't be, get put in those type of situations. Yeah. And I think it boils down to like the kind of person you are. Yeah, yeah. There's so many layers to it. Yeah, I'm about to say it's definitely it's definitely what type of person you are. Like if you're a young kid, like a really really young kid, and you basically, I don't know, if you have the op, if, if you're basically when you're younger, I feel like you are more attracted to like looks. So a guy is more likely to be like, well, my girl don't got this. I'll go get this. I'll go get this. But as you get older. You'll be like, well, yeah, that girl might have like a bigger butt, but she doesn't have like a bigger heart or something like that. Or like, you know, she doesn't care Aww. for me like that. So it's different. Yeah. Bigger yeah. heart. No, I think also too, like going off what Jay said, I think it's like um, in terms of like cheating, it's like more based on like selfishness, right? Mm -hmm. so the younger you are, you're more about you. You're all about yourself. Yeah. But then, you know, when you get older, it's not all about you anymore. It's all about you got to consider other things. So I, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Now let's go into forms of cheating. Let me ask you guys a question. Oh my goodness. All right. Is liking somebody else's so, guy? If a guy or your boyfriend or likes another girl's IG photo, is that cheating? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm about to say. All right. If, if it's a thirst trap, like you know, ass out everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like you know, she, you know, she, yeah. she, like, she busted it open. Like, it's not cheating. But don't you dare double tap that joint. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's an unspoken word to not do it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, yeah. Hey, what if what if you were scrolling through, you accidentally double clicked it? You can undouble tap <laughs> it. <laughs> it was an All accident, right. I swear. All right. What about what about flirting with other women? What if like the guy's just a natural flirt? Just naturally a very flirty guy? No, it's not, it's not cheating. Yeah, I don't think it's cheating either. Is that cheating? Yeah, I don't think so. Thank I God. mean, it depends on the intentions. Cause yeah, what type of flirting is it like? Just flirting. I would like like teasing. Flirting, yeah. Like or like oh, or like or like complimenting. Uh, like, like, like complimenting and te like if you're complimenting a girl and like is that that's flirting? I, I feel like that's a little a little borderline. But mm -hmm. if you're like just kind of going back and forth, like teasing each other and like, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. All right, you and your boys want to catch up. Y'all go. Y'all go to the bar. All right. And then there's a group of there's a group of um, girls around you guys, and naturally they're like, oh, they look fun. We'll go up and talk to them. It happens at bars all the time, you know. You, your two groups combine. Everybody's talking to somebody. This girl, you're just hitting it off the girl. Next thing you know, y'all turn from regular conversation to a little flirtatious, you know, like teasing a little bit, you know, all that little stuff. Maybe maybe a little subtle touching, like. Okay, like touch is different. Don't touch. is different. All right, okay. Okay, fine. No touching, no touching. Just, just like, you know, just teasing a little, a little flirting, you know. Is that considered cheating or not? No. No. Yeah, no. I don't think no. it's cheating. As soon, no. as soon as touching gets involved, then we're... Uh, I feel like if you touch yeah. someone, you're, you're trying to give it someone signals. But, like, yeah. some people are just naturally more flirtatious. And they just... Na <clears throat> how they talk to people and make friends with people is just like teasing people okay so you, like, brought up, you brought up a really good point like what environment are you putting yourself in if you are in a serious relationship you're married you're dating you're out at a bar you know what you're, you can get yourself into yeah correct right mm -hmm. i ain't going out to no bar if i'm married i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> unless unless your your girl goes with you yeah but it's also yeah. like your friends too so like what you said like who are you surrounding yourself right. with that mm -hmm. For one, is does even thinks that that's a good idea. Like, if you want to go off and do that and talk to whoever the hell you want, then you know, by all means, go. And you know, like, pe couples can go out separately and like have a good time and it not be, you know, what bars you know are for, right? Like to like mingle with like you know what what like single people go and do, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But like. If you are just going out and like your friends are like, oh, let's go talk. And like, no, I don't want to do that. What is wrong with you? You know, but like your friends shouldn't try and like make you do it just because like your girl's not there. Right. Like that's like awful. 